Hey y'all, today I'm going to talk to you about intermittent fasting, but there is a lot of information out there about it. So first, I want to bust some of those misconceptions and then we'll get into the good stuff. Why aren't you eating? I'm fasting. Aren't you starving? But it's much more than that. No. Humans are designed to eat three meals a day. Skipping breakfast is bad. Hold up. Just because you're intermittent fasting doesn't mean you're starving yourself. You will still end up getting the same amount of calories as you would if you ate three meals a day than you would during your eating period. It's just at a different time. I agree, fasting is horrible for you. If you don't eat, you don't get enough calories and then you feel bad all day. So can I speak more or are you just gonna keep throwing wrong information at me? Yeah, you're right, fasting, fasting is so, so bad, bad for you. All it does, all it does is like hurt your stomach and then all day, you get angry you all day, and then when you finally do eat, you kind of feel bad because you, because you haven't been eating all day, you're actually, and then you actually shut up you know, so you can know why. Ancestrally, those who actually survived are the ones that could store their energy for a long period of time because they didn't necessarily know when their next meal would be. So it's absolutely okay to skip breakfast. The only reason why we have three meals a day now is because we have an abundance of resources so we're able to eat three meals a day. It doesn't mean you have to. Now that we got all that out of the way, we can get to the fun stuff. There's a lot of ways to do intermittent fasting, but I'm gonna to talk to you about the top four, which is 16 to eight, 19 to five, 20 to four, or 23 to one. Now for anybody who doesn't know, those bigger numbers are when you're fasting, and then the smaller number is when you're, is your eating period where you're gonna take in all of your calories. That was some really great advice. I personally do the 16-8. Uh, just during those 16 hours, I drink either black coffee or tea or water, and then during my eight hours, I can eat whatever. Hey, I fast too. And so do I. I do 24 because I've been doing it a long time. The most important thing is for me to make sure I drink a lot of water. And while I am on my eating period, I can't eat a lot of carbs because it'll lower the benefits. But other than that, I love it. Are y'all talking about fasting? I fast too. I do 23 and one because I like to max out my fat burning and fat burning max out about 23, 24 hours, which is exactly when I break my fast. Thanks guys. I personally do 19, five, but whatever your style, there still is awesome benefits. Some of these benefits even include fat loss, increasing your metabolism, and reduced inflammation in your muscles. Some benefits that have been observed in a clinical study are reduced plasma glucose, reduced plasma insulin, reduced triglycerides, elevated human growth hormone, improved insulin sensitivity, reduced apocalyptic inflammation. What, you need help? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah, oh God, Jesus. All right, well, hold on, move. Let me, I got this. Reduced plasma inflammatory cy cytokines, improved intestinal mobility, heptic glycogen depletion, improved cognition, reduced resting heart rate, reduced blood pressure, improved fasting lipid profile, and of course, increased visceral lipolysis. Wow, that was a lot. Thanks, Brent, for the Whoa. backup. <laughs> so for me, with intermittent fasting, my top three benefits are gonna be one, your increase in metabolism, two, actually my overall awareness throughout the day, and three, I have a much greater appreciation for the food that I'm eating when I am on my eating periods. Speaking of food, here at Wow Foods, we really care about real food and the ingredients that you're putting in your body. If you wanna learn any more about intermittent fasting or anything about your health, please go to wowfoods.co. Stay wild.